Hey everyone, uh, this video here, uh, if you're receiving this video, it's maybe because uh, you purchased a torch from us um, and we like to send out these informational videos to share with you how to troubleshoot your torches, any torches, if you're having torch problems, okay? Um, so in front of me right now, I have these Scorch torches here, okay? So just like L torches. I have another torch, you know, you may have maybe purchased or have bought from anywhere, but torches are torches. It doesn't really matter size, shape, color, height, things of that nature, even a, a small torch like this. All right, so all torches in front of me, all sizes, short, medium, tall, bent, not bent, and all that jazz, okay? So um, how to troubleshoot your torch? Um, a lot of times, a few problems that we encounter a lot when it comes to troubleshooting torches are um, customers or people in, in our store here um, overfill their torches, okay? And what is overfilling? Overfilling means you're holding it down for more than three to four seconds and above. You know, a lot of times I ask customer, right when they come back, you know, a week or two later or three weeks later, they go, hey, the torch is broken. I said, okay, uh, can you show me what you did? They go, oh yeah, you know, I just kind of do this, I do that, boom. And I'm like, well, how, did, how long did you hold it down for? They go, oh, like 10 seconds. And I was like, wow, that's the reason why. So overfilling your torch is an issue. Um, I generally love, whether it's a small little torch like this or a large torch like that, I generally only hold down the torch, you can pass up, it's okay. I generally only hold the butane down, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, pull out, okay? And the reason being is because when you overfill, okay, remember, the click, the clicking you hear from all torches, all right, is the igniter, okay? The igniter is a very tiny little blue line that strikes, okay? And what happens is, as the, if you, if this is the nozzle here, when butane is shooting out, right? And the, the little blue line that you see tick, 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 has to be either strong enough for the force of the butane coming out. What does that mean? Pretend a candle, you light a candle, you blow at it, it goes out, right? It's because there's enough force to blow it out. Now, the butane is acting as a, 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 a blower again, okay? Like your mouth going Phew. So when you strike and the butane comes out too much pressure, it's, guess what? The igniter gets blown away. So that's why it never ignites, okay? Or if you overfill it and you ignite it, you start seeing splutter, like, <laughs> like it's shooting out randomly. It's because it's escaping. The butane's escaping. It's trying to get out because there's release, okay? So good common practice, a good rule of thumb is shake your butane 10 seconds, okay? Let it settle for another two or three seconds. Grab your torch, always have it upside down. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, pull up, turn it upside down. Strike it a couple of times. If it doesn't work, what I love to do what I actually do to troubleshoot is if you have a um, a butane adjuster nozzle here, a lever, you can actually use that, okay? If not, some of them look like this little minus here. I don't know if it's bright enough, but it's like a Phillips, not a Phillips, but a, a minus screwdriver, okay? You, need, you can get like a pair of pliers or a pair of keys if it's fine enough, so you can actually get into the little notch and like kind of turn it okay so the first thing i do is i turn i strike a couple times just to like let the butane out so that the bubble that was up here goes up here now right so i want to let the air out of that chamber let the bubble air out of the chamber okay so it doesn't create any um um you know airflow or, or so something's going to get in the way when there's air bubbles in there so i let that out a couple times and if it still doesn't light I hold down and I'm just kind of adjusting it because you're now gonna 
moving parts inside uh, uh, the, the actual tank of the butane, you can actually kind of resynchronize it, okay? So turn it all the way up, see if it works. If it doesn't, turn it all the way down, see if that works, okay? And then bring it right back to the middle and see if that works, okay? So number one, um, if you're gonna fill your tank, first rule of thumb is empty your tank all the way out. And all you need is like a pen or some sort of sharp object. This is a poker here. Just push all of it out, okay? Until you don't hear anything at all. Just stay away from your face because the butane might shoot out sometimes. You might smell it. So I let it all out. If I don't know how much is in here, okay? Let it all out. Cool, have a good night. Okay. So just remember, if there's butane in there, Maybe hold it down for one 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 thousand instead of two one thousand, okay? Because otherwise, if it's full already and you're filling another two seconds, now you're overfilling, right? So, I'm gonna shake this up. Okay, one one thousand, two one thousand. Pull it out. There you go. It's maybe a little bit too high. So notice if I press it, it stays on for a little bit. Generally, that means there's overpressure already or your nozzle is maybe too high, okay? So I'm gonna adjust that right now. I'm gonna bring it right to, let me see what it is right now. Woo! <laughs> so that's too high there, okay? So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, bring it down a little lower. If you hold it there for about two seconds and you don't see any splutter, I think it's good, okay? But notice earlier, it shot out really fast because I had the highest and it's just, you know, it's forceful, okay? So that's um, another tip that you can do is turn it high, medium, low, to kind of see where the adjustment you need to leave it at, okay? Now, um, there you go, that's like the perfect medium there, okay? Um, another good rule, now just to let you know, the reason why you don't wanna overfill too is because it's gonna weaken the, the chamber over a long period of time. So let's pretend you're gonna leave out of town, um, and you don't want to, you know, you're not going to be using the, your, your torch for 10 days straight. The best thing is to empty it all the way out. Empty the whole tank out. Because remember, when there's pressure in there, and because these are all um, not like, you know, the most durable torches sometimes, you don't want to keep the pressure built up in there. So that pressure built up is actually not good for the mechanical parts in there, okay? So a lot of times if, you know, we're not using these torches for a long time, especially in my home, empty it out. So the best practice is to fill as much as you're gonna use so that you don't really waste butane, you're not over pressurizing your tanks. Um, so I hope this video kind of gives you guys um, some insight on understanding the anatomy of this, of any of these torches here, okay? Small, medium, or large. The larger torches, maybe something like this, right put a side side by side size maybe you can hold it down for like three seconds tops but remember fill as much as you're going to use so that way unless you're traveling that's different right then have a, have your can of butane with you that's the best practice there in that situation so i hope these tips help you guys out um if you have any questions message us on you know our website or our marketplace or if we text you something you can always text us back message us back. We're here to provide support. Um, your questions are important to us because it allows us to create better videos and better um, troubleshooting tips. So until next time, you guys could um, comment below or, you know, share with a friend. And this is a private video. So, you know, you can share with friends and whatnot. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Okay. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.